there is a world of difference between a regular mistake and a gaffe. The housewives of Australia need to understand as they do the iron. Politicians make mistakes all the time. And we have a plan, we have a six point plan uh, to make sure that we do stop the votes. Six points, could you run through them for us? Well, I can run through all the details of the points, but look. They forget names, they forget numbers, they say idiotic things. I don't believe those figures. Are you xenophobic? Please explain. But a gaffe, as opposed to a mistake, actually reveals some type of underlying truth, an underlying truth that the politician didn't actually mean to reveal. The starting point for a first home buyer is to get a good job that pays good money. Joe Hockey uh, went out there and he said that if you want to buy a house in Sydney, then uh, you should get a good job that pays good money. If housing were unaffordable in Sydney, no one would be buying it. And he said, oh, of course houses in Sydney are affordable because people are still buying them. Uh, but that rests very much on a definition of affordable that is what is affordable for Joe Hockey. Uh, it's as if Joe Hockey thought, I can buy a house, therefore everybody can buy a house. And what that suggests is that Joe Hockey doesn't really have an idea how most people live their lives. He seems to think that people can just go out there, decide they're working in a low paying job and say, I'm quitting. I'm going to get a good, well paying job tomorrow. Now, that wouldn't be such a problem for Joe Hockey if it was the first time he'd made a comment like this. But a few months ago, uh, he made that comment about petrol. The poorest people either don't have cars or actually don't drive very far in many cases. Uh, and so having made one statement in the last year that suggests that he doesn't really know how ordinary people live their lives, having fomented that suspicion in the minds of voters already, this confirms it. And that's the problem. It confirms an underlying truth that voters already suspect. No one, however smart, uh, however well educated, however experienced, is the suppository of all wisdom.